Hey guys, welcome to conversation number 10. In this conversation, we're going to be asking the question, what are the essentials of biblical Christianity? You may recall last week in conversation nine, we broke down and distinguished the differences between essential elements, important elements, and personal elements. And today, we're going to be breaking down that first one, essential elements. Therefore, asking the question, what are the essentials of biblical Christianity? Here's the answer that we're going to explore. The essential truths are that God exists, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is the risen Savior, and salvation is by grace, not human effort, and two essential elements that identify us as being saved are the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and a faith that perseveres. Now let's take that big answer and break it down. First, we're told that the essential truths are that God exists. Number one, the baseline of our faith, the baseline of what is essential for salvation and what is essential for biblical Christianity all starts once again with the basic belief and trust that God exists. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. You see, to have faith in God, we must believe he exists. It's really simple when we start from the beginning. And again, I also want to remind you, if you go back to the first several conversations that we had, uh, you'll be reminded of how we can know about the truth about God. But it starts with belief in God, but then moves on to a broader scope. The answer continues to say that the essential truths are that God exists and that we believe that Jesus is Lord and Jesus is the risen Savior. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says this, If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Lord here means master. And if Jesus is our Lord, if we confess and declare and believe that Jesus is our Lord, then that means he is our master. And that means he gets to tell us what to do. See, faith in Jesus is more than just simple belief. It means that he leads our life, what he commands us to do, what he teaches us to do, the life of example that he led. All those things define who we are and also tells us how we are to live. He is our Lord. Faith in Jesus means he leads our life. So we should be sure to obey and do what Jesus says. So we first need to declare that Jesus is Lord, but that's not all. We also need to declare that Jesus is Savior, but even more so that Jesus is our risen Savior. We must believe in the resurrection. You see, we have no hope of our own resurrection, and we have no hope of eternal life without it. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17, that if Christ has not been raised, our faith is futile, and we are dead in our sins. The resurrection is the, a core foundation of our faith, a core foundation of our salvation. And without belief and trust in that, there is no hope of salvation. Therefore, it is essential that we believe both that Jesus is our Lord and that he is our risen Savior. From there, our answer Continues. It says that one of the elements of biblical Christianity is salvation by grace, not human effort. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. You see, it's important to know that we don't save ourselves. We can't save ourselves. That's really the whole point of why God sent his son Jesus into this world to die on a cross and then resurrect to new life because without that, we would have no hope. You see, salvation is a beautiful gift of grace from God through Jesus and a gift of grace. Grace is unmerited. Therefore, while we must respond in faith to receive this gift, we can never earn it. We can never merit it, nor can we buy it. 
It is a gift, and the gift is given and received, and that's it. It's not earned, it's not bought, it's not merited through any way, shape, or form. A gift is offered, given, and received. From there, our answer continues to give us the essential identity of those who are saved. It says two essentials that identifies us as being saved is the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That's first. And in the first part of this conversation, we talked about what we need to believe to be saved. We need to believe that God exists, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the risen Savior. And just a moment ago, that salvation is by grace and not human effort. But now we're talking about the two identifying truths that show that we are saved. The first is that we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38, Peter tells the crowd on the day of Pentecost, the first gospel sermon is just preached by Peter, and the crowd are, are, are struck to the heart, and they believe the message about Jesus' death and resurrection that Peter has just preached. And they ask Peter and the other apostles, they say, what must we do? And Peter says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Holy Spirit is a promise. It's a guarantee to those who have placed their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And the Spirit is the primary seal and sign that we have been saved. When we place our faith in Jesus, it's a promise and a guarantee that we will receive the Holy Spirit who takes his part in our salvation, in our, in our regeneration, in our, in our sanctification. The Holy Spirit then helps us do the next thing that identifies us as a believer. The Holy Spirit helps us maintain a faith that perseveres. Persevering means to keep going even when the circumstances are difficult. So having a faith that perseveres means that we continue to follow Jesus even when following him becomes hard. So, taking it all together again, what are the essentials of biblical Christianity? The answer we had today is that the essential truths are that God exists, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is the risen Savior, salvation is by grace and not human effort, and the two essentials that identify us as being saved are the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and a faith that perseveres. Now, as a family, we encourage you to walk through the Continuing the Conversation handout and join us this week as we take time to reflect on these essential truths to our faith. Thank you.